guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elena if you're new here, and if not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested skincare routine, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. And I thought I'd just post about it. So here you are, here I am, and let's get into it. Um, I might change up the angle of this camera setup, I'm not really sure. Kind of feel like the side look is very like Sarah's day. Um, but let's get into it. I just currently have a pimple patch on, so I'm gonna take that off. This is okay. So I'm just gonna clip back my hair with a little claw clip. And what I'm gonna do is, normally I wash my face in the shower, but I haven't showered yet. So I'm just gonna use this cleanser. I either use this one, it's the Inky List, or I use this one at night. I'm just gonna wet my skin. And I'm gonna use this one. So I just take a little pea-sized amount. and just use circular motions. And because I've been breaking out on my chin like here, I'm just focusing it there. And I try to leave it on for about a minute in the shower I would like go, I would leave it, wash my body. Um, but I'll try to massage a bit. Circular motions. And sometimes I'll take my Foreo and the Luna Mini 3 and I would just put it on and do that as well, but I don't feel like using it right now. And then I'm just gonna rinse it off and make sure my water is sort of warm. And then I always use a separate towel to dry my face. And I just pat. You don't want to rub. And I found that using a separate towel to dry my face really helps control my breakouts. And I hang it separately from my other towels to keep everything separate. Then I'm just going to take my Indie Lee Lotion COQ10 um, Rebalance and Prime. This is just a toner. It, um, toner super nice to try to be a little more eco-friendly it's a spray one so i just spray it directly on my face so i close my eyes and just spray that all over and then i've been liking to go in with this discoloration correcting serum so it's to help target hyperpigmentation and promote an even skin tone so usually i'll do this at night but because I've been having more discoloration you can see all my breakouts here I'm gonna start applying it twice a day but I just take the dropper warm it up between my hands and just put it focus on my chin and then rub it in normally it's clear I guess my skin is still a little damp um, I just focus it on my chin and kind of like all over any problem areas and then you have to wait for this to fully absorb before applying your moisturizer so normally I'd like fill up my water or something go grab something and then I actually just changed my face moisturizer so don't quote me on this but I really like the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I like to use this one. And then I've also been playing around with the Indeed Hydroluron Moisture Jelly. And then I've also liked, it just doesn't smell the best, um, but it's the Inky List Multibiotic. Which one do I feel like using today? I'm gonna try the Inky List one, so I, just do about like a pump and a half, looks like. 
that. And then I've been adding these Indeed Nano Bronze bronzing drops. I normally use the Drunk Elephant ones. So I do about like a pump, half a pump. It looks like so. Rub that between my hands. Dot it on my face and my neck. I do look a little crazy, but it's just super nice to add some color in the winter when I'm super pale. So I just do that. A little crazy. And because there is color, you want to bring it into the hairline, onto the ears. Whatever you put on your face, you want to bring down onto your neck because your neck is a part of your face. Um, but obviously I would only do that, this color part, um, during the day. And then typically at night after I do moisturizer, I would then put on an eye cream. I've been using, using this Youth to the People one. Um, it just looks like this. It's the Dream Eye Cream. And I would just dip my ring finger in it and dot it underneath, bring it up on top of my eye. Um, but it's a night cream, so I just do that at night. And then during the day, I put on sunscreen. So sunscreen is super important. Um, you wanna make sure that you have SPF incorporated into your skincare routine throughout the entire year, even if it's not summer, um, or even if you're just sitting inside, you always wanna make sure you have it. I like this Peter Thomas Roth one. It just looks like this. It's SPF 45 and it is a mineral based. So I just take a small amount, just a small amount, warm it up between my fingers. Again, face and neck. Dot it on and then rub it in like so. Always super gentle around the eye area. And then I would take my hair down. That is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Let me down below what products are your favorite skincare products or must-haves. Down below, mine is definitely moisturizer. That is my go-to. I always feel like my skin feels super dry and I feel like it's the key to a glowy look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. I love you so, so, so much.